What's up everyone, it's your boy Norman Rad 89 here bringing you another video for today's video. It's going to be a rad movie review, actually the first rad movie review of the next year and it's going to be for a film that came out last year though in 2023 and this is a horror film that I don't hear a lot of people talking about and I had a freaking ton of fun with this one and it's Dark Harvest. So today this is a horror fantasy type film. So today you're going to hear my positives, the negatives, the rating and then I'm going to send you all home. So let's do this. Roll it. So Dark Harvest is a horror fantasy film that came out last year. This is directed by David Slade, and man, this one was quite the surprise. It's probably going to go on my list as one of the most surprising films that I watched last year, or that came out last year, but I, wa I watched it this year. I know, it's fucking confusing. Let's just not talk about that. But it's going to be one of my most surprising watches from the 2023 year in terms of films. And yeah, Dark Harvest. Just to start off right off the bat, let's introduce the story. And I don't want to spoil too much, but I want to hook you in. So the story is this takes place in the 1960s, I believe 1964. So that's a really fun fact about it is that it's a period piece film. It has a very greaser vibe to it, which is a positive that I love. And it's a town where they have this tradition on Halloween night where they send out the sons, I believe it's seniors, they're seniors in high school, I believe, or like juniors, something like that. You have to be a certain age and it's all the sons in the town and they send them out on Halloween night to hunt down Sawtooth Jack and they have to do that to ensure that the crops are good for the next year of the town. So it's got a little bit of a Children of the Corn type vibe as well, but it has like this fairy tale fantasy vibe to it. So let's just lean right into the positives right away is that I like the strong Halloween fantasy vibe to this film. Like I said, it's got a story vibe. It feels very much like a novel, and it is based off a novel. It feels like that when you watch the film. It's like you're being told a freaking really cool, fantastical, scary story that has a lot of good lore to it. And like I said, the fact that it takes place in the 60s, that's another huge positive for me because there's not a lot of horror films that take place in the 60s and I have that it's really cool nostalgia vibe to it because it has like a West Side Story greaser type vibe to it. That's the way it comes across. And I like our lead characters, our lead actor and lead actress. They have a really good chemistry together and I feel like they carry the film a lot of the points because there's some side characters the parents and some of the other side characters that I'm like a little bit loosey-goosey on but our main lead actor and our lead actress that carry the film the teenage boy and the teenage girl I think they do a fantastic job and have a good chemistry together and I like the fact that it plays on the whole you know a white boy falling in love with a black girl it's like very much you know has that racial tension which is something that happens in the 60s so I like that aspect of the film too is it adds a you know another their subplot layer to it that doesn't overtake the film it's just something there to kind of put you in the 60s you know of uh, 60s vibe and 60s era you know what I mean another strong positive is the look of this film the cinematography the style the costume design the coloring just everything the color palette I enjoyed every image in this film like there are so many cool images so many cool shots and like i said the costume design and like the masks like when the kids go hunting the boys go hunting on halloween night they all wear halloween masks so there's very specific different style masks really old school ones you know kind of like the halloween three ones you know season of the witch masks so like i said style off the charts cinematography off the charts and really a banger of a original type story something that I've never seen before like I said this is based off a novel so it's not like an original original concept but just the alone like the the lore the story behind it and everything it had me so hooked and so intrigued because I was like I've never seen anything like this and this is one that in the horror community in small circles I heard people talking about it and really talking this film up saying like why isn't anyone talking about this so it kind of got hyped up by some people that I talked to in the horror community online and stuff and then when I was watching it about 30 minutes in I was like damn I'm freaking in love with this movie and so much that I watched it a second time like right, like this morning. I watched it last night before I went to bed and then I also watched it this morning when I got up. So you can see I'm singing a lot of praise for Dark Harvest. This is a film that I want a lot of people to go see because like I said, it's stylish, it's unique, it's got a lot to love about it. I like the period piece setting. I like the design of our Sawtooth Jack too, our main, like the villain, the fant fantastical design of that character. We need more 
more horror like this, you know what I mean? Like Pumpkinhead and stuff like, you know, Mimic and, you know, these films that have these creative, crazy character designs and stuff and like this lore behind them and this mysticism and stuff like that. So I think we need more horror films like this. This did have some negatives, a couple negatives. They aren't huge, huge negatives, but there's a couple, like I said, one we'll talk about right now is the side characters. There's some parents and some other side children characters in this film that are kind of the basic, very generic kind of bully characters. And then there's some parent actors in this film that I didn't think did that good in acting. I think they were kind of the worst part of the film. Like some of the children did better acting than some of the adult characters in this film. So I don't know if that was on purpose, if necessarily the director, David Slade, was telling the parent actors to act a certain way. But I feel like some of the kid actors like outshined some of the older actors in this film. So that was one negative for me. And then one other thing I want to say is that there is some CGI moments in this film that are not the greatest not the worst they're not the worst cgi like you know of some films that came out last year but there's some cgi moments that weren't the best and everything and there's some practical kills in here too practical effects but this is a film you must understand that's more about the story it's more about the fantastical element and i like the fact that they focus more on that you know what i mean it's not so much about the straight up like kills and slasher vibes or anything like that like it's not that's not this kind of film it's not the film you're going in for this film has a lot of story behind it and i think it's very interesting so just a couple negatives right there that hold it out from being like one of the the greatest greatest films that i've seen in a long long time but I do say to like all of you out there and to myself, this is one of the biggest surprise watches and definitely going to be in my top 10 horror films for 2023. Be sure to stick to the channel because that video is going to be coming out soon. That's why I kind of wanted, I was like using the first week of January to kind of catch up on some films that I didn't see from last year as well. So I could really nail down my top 10 lists and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, this film is definitely... I, guarantee you going to be on my top 10 horror films of the year so dark harvest i highly recommend this film this one you could stream on mgm plus or amazon prime but i ordered it on my tv i have direct tv so i just ordered it i paid the 5.99 to rent it for two days so that's another reason why i watched it twice and like i wanted to assure my feelings on it but also like i only have it for two days rented so i wanted to watch it twice but this is one that I'm eager to own for real. This is a film that is good enough to be in my horror collection. I'm so excited that I watched this film. And in terms of the rating, I know you're all here to find out what the rad rating is for a Dark Harvest. And this film is going to land in at a 9 out of a 10. Fucking fantastic movie. Like I said, I loved it so much that I really did want to watch it that second time just to get it in there and like really get the feel for it and man like for real this is one of those films that's going to go down as the biggest surprise watches for 2023 and one that I highly recommend you all check out because like I said there's not a lot of people in the horror community that I hear talking about it it was just some people here and there some small you know voices that I heard of talking about it but this is one that I think deserves more eyes because it was a lot better than some of the other crap that we got from 2023. But yes, thanks for sticking around with me all for this rad movie review. Please let me know down in the comment section if you've seen Dark Harvest. Let me know your thoughts on this film or did I sell you on the film and do you want to watch it because of all the stuff that I talked about on it. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, have that notification bell poke so you're notified anytime I post a, post a video. But most importantly, I want you all to have a safe and happy day. Peace out.